Media Access Pro. It's been around for about 30 years, and it's the quickest and easiest way to pull up information. For this example, I'll go ahead and search on a market. I'll use my display pick list and choose the Dallas-Fort Worth market. I go ahead and proceed through a couple of the pop-ups that come up letting me know that the station is uh, in a PPM market. Highlight the station I'm interested in looking at. From there, I can go to the Contacts tab, look at all the detailed information for that station as far as their format, the format category, technical information, who's operating the station, and information about where the station is located, addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers, email addresses. In addition to that, if I page down to a station that has a multicast or a translator station, I'm able to see the information on my screen. KLIF has a multicast station. When I click on the multicast tab, it lets me know what the slogan and what format they're running on that additional station, on that HD2 station. I can then go look at the ownership information for this station. When I click on the Owner tab, I'm able to see addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers, the different contacts that we have available at that owner level. I'm also able to toggle between the parent and the owner and operator of that station. I can see historic information about the owner. And if I want to see all the stations that are owned by that one owner, I click on the Also Owns button and it pulls up all the additional stations owned by that owner. In addition to that, I get detailed station information like the PPM, the diary, the revenue, networks, combos, the population coverage for the station. Transaction tab gives me detailed information about who bought the station, who sold the station, how much was it sold for, and what terms were associated with that sale. The market tab allows me to see an overview of the market. The market information allows me to see detailed information about the market, the overall revenue of the market, the online interactive revenue for that market. I'm also able to see a breakdown of all the stations, the AMs, the FMs, Class A's, B's, and C's. Market number two is just a spin-off, additional information that we couldn't fit on market number one. Gives us detailed information about the market, population, growth, per capita income, demographic breakouts, the revenue that's generated from local advertisers versus national. Lots of really helpful information. The competition tab allows me to see where the station that I'm viewing falls in the list of all the other stations in that market. The station that I'm looking at here, the Cumulus station, ranks pretty low based on the revenue generated by that station. All of the information that you see here is completely viewable, searchable, and exportable. If you're approved for the ratings module, you're able to see the ratings for that station in the different demographics. And lastly, we've got our coverage maps. Great tool. It allows you to map out the stations. The maps allow me to get a really good look at the stations and their location of the stations. Say I want to turn on another contour just to see where they fall or where they overlap one another. I turn on my contour, I reload the data, I'm able to see all of the information on my map. I can remove labels if I want by clicking the Remove Label tool and then clicking on the label I want to remove. This displays the contours and their tower locations. I can also add some shading areas in here. If I want to shade the market area, I'm going to go ahead and shade the Dallas-Fort Worth market in a orange color. When I click OK, it shades in the counties that make up that market. That's Media Access Pro in a nutshell. Quick, easy, get to the data, get to your maps. Check back in this area regularly. We will be updating these videos frequently. Thanks for taking a quick tour with me. I hope to see you soon.